Hi guys, this is my show and tell project for this for this month. Uh, I almost named this my Norman Larson project. For those of you that don't know who Norman Larson is, he's the guy that invented WD-40. The WD stands for water displacement and the 40th stands for the 40th try of him trying to figure out the formula. Well, I'm not quite at 40 with trial and error, but I did have a little bit of trial and error. So what started me off on this was that I, I raced for a number of years, built several race cars and one thing and another over the years. So I decided that I wanted to do something for the Kansas Antique Racers. So I made me a knockoff and my knockoff says Kansas Antique Racers. So when I got my knockoff done, I thought, well shoot, if you're gonna have a knockoff, you gotta have threads in it. So I put threads in it. And then I thought, well, if you're gonna have a knockoff, with threads in it, you gotta have an axle. So I built me an axle, and then I thought, well, now if you got an axle, you gotta have a stand so you can display it. So I built me a stand, got my axle installed, and <clears throat> then I decided, well, I'm gonna put a nut back here so it wouldn't unscrew. However, this was one of the trial and error parts. So I figured that's a good place for it, so I just put that put that nut on there. So now I got my axle done, and I thought, well, shoot, I better have a hub. So I made a six-pin hub. So I got my hub. We set this car up for the mud. So whenever we done that, we would always slide the wheels out as far as we could. So here's my spacer slide my wheel out. So I got my wheel, my hub, and I thought, well, gosh, I gotta have a knobby, a mud tire. So I made me a tire. And then here's the other half of my six pin wheel. So that goes in there. Well, then when you got that done, you gotta have a pressure plate so that when you put your knockoff on, it holds everything together. Here's our outside spacer, and here we'll put our knockoff on. And this is for you, Milo. It's left-handed threads. On the right rear or the right front on a race car is left-handed threads. So I done left-handed threads. So I got that all done, and I thought, oh shoot, I ought to put something on the tire. Like, you know, maybe maybe Goodyear or Firestone or uh, M&H or, or something. And I thought, no, I don't really want to do that. Uh, so I thought later on about it for a while, and I thought, well, I'm just gonna do a, something different. So now we're gonna set our car up for a dry hard uh, slick racetrack. So we'll suck our wheel in. And then my thought, well, I'm gonna do a tribute to two of my friends that I raced with for a number of years that in the last two years, they have passed away. So I, designed my my tire and wheel to uh, pay tribute to my two friends to get our pressure plate back on there. Now we'll put our spacer on and it'll be on the outside so that it'll take up all the space for our left-handed knockoff. And let me get this around so you can read it all. And 
there is my tribute to two of my friends, Lynn Anderson and Dean Woods. You just made it on the CNC. Oh, and by the way, all of this was done on my Maverick 3x5, and I used Zcam to do all the turning and cutting of the threads and everything. Uh, it it went it went along pretty good, and uh, so I I don't know how long it took me because as I stated in the in the video that you know I done this and I thought well I better go do this and so uh, I it, it took me a few days but it's not like I worked on it eight hours a day so. Uh, I, I wouldn't know what it would be, and I would have I couldn't put a price on it. It was just made uh, kind of especially to make pay tribute to my friends.